today, I'm about to explain the benefits a quality realtor can bring to the table when building a new construction home. I'm about to show you how working with an expert who knows what he or she is doing can make your life easier, save you money, and help you get the result you want. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to The Home Squad for more powerful home buyer and seller tips. For those of you who are brand new to the channel, welcome to The Home Squad. We are the superheroes of real estate. So now I know some of you may be like, hey, that's not a superpower. Well, buzzkill. There are some pretty bizarre superpowers in the comic book world. For instance, Arm Fall Off Boy. He has the power of losing a limb. Back in my day, we just called that leprosy, but whatever. No, for real though, I'm not kidding. That's a, that's a real superhero. See? Here. Now, let's get to business. Can a realtor help with new construction? The process of buying a home can be incredibly complex when buying a home that was built decades ago. And while many people think that buying a new home would be much simpler, this often just isn't the case. In reality, however, buying a new construction can have an even higher degree of complexity than buying an old fixer-upper. You know, a fixer-upper like arm fall off boy. This means that working with a realtor can not only make the entire process easier for the buyer, but it can result in significant savings by helping to prevent costly mistakes on the buyer's part. I'm about to dive into how exactly a realtor can help the average buyer who may be looking into new construction. Mistakes like losing a limb in the middle of battle. Sorry, I, I just can't get over the, the that superhero. Weird. A realtor holds great value when having a contract on a new construction home. Buying newly constructed homes is much different than buying an existing, previously owned home, and these differences can be monumental. Since your new home will be built to your preferences and specification, it is often a far lengthier process than buying a house already built and can take maybe up to a year or more to be completed. Your agent will be an invaluable asset during this time and will make the entire process easier for you. Here are just some of the ways in which a realtor can add tremendous value to your home buying experience. Your personal advocate. While the builder will often have their own real estate agent who can be another great resource for customers, it's important to remember that they are being paid to represent the builder, not the buyer. While the builder's agent wants their buyer to have an overall pleasant experience and be happy with their new home, at the end of the day, they still have a fiduciary duty to the builder and advocate for them. By having your own real estate agent, you will have someone advocating for you on your best interests, your home, and ultimately your happiness. An advocate, not to be confused with an avocado, which is what I thought was Spanish for advocate in sixth grade. I failed Spanish that year. Shout out to Senora Moreno. Yeah. You are a great teacher and my greatest avocado ever. Financing assistance. In many cases, builders work with a handful of preferred or pre-selected lenders, with some even working with their own lender or one they already affiliated with. On one hand, builders that do this make financing options relatively simple, though the deal may not work out to be the best deal for you and your transaction. Translation, they know where to get the money. If you're looking for truffles, you should just get one of those truffle hunting pigs. If you're looking for dinosaur bones, you get an archeologist. And if you're looking for which makeup tutorial TikTok star is in some type of scandalous relationship with, you're going to want to ask your seven-year-old neighbor. Seriously, I'm sure she has some encyclopedic knowledge on that stuff, and apparently those makeup people and this is no cap. She will also teach you the term no cap, which means bow shizzle. Working with a realtor, that means you'll have an agent that is familiar with a wide range of financing options, often with many different lenders and loan possibilities. Some of these possibilities can even include local credit unions or affiliated banks may have favorable terms for buyers seeking new construction. Short-term loans cover the purchase of the land as well as the building costs, but which need to be paid off by the time construction wraps up, otherwise the buyer will need to apply to a lender for a mortgage. Construction loans automatically become conventional mortgages once the construction of the home is completed. A source of invaluable data and experience. Data is invaluable, right? Mark Zuckerberg, 
I think everyone should have control over how their information is used. That's surprising because so many people were bothered by Facebook's data scandal, remember? But it is going to bother you because you're human. And, and I was human. I am human, still. Um... That was so odd. Can you just prove you're human by asking Siri to play music that all humans like? Just for a second, please. Hey, play us some good Nickelback songs. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm afraid I can't do that. Case closed. Thanks for shutting that down, Siri. Working with a realtor can not only help the entire process of building a new home, but if they have significant experience with being the buyer's agent in new construction, they will also have extensive experience in the pricing structure for the homes, as well as local averages for various home constructions. This means they will be able to advise you regarding the price and whether you're getting a deal or getting swindled. Additionally, when it comes to upgrades, they will be able to let you know if you're being overcharged and can negotiate on your behalf as your agent. Their experience gives them a large amount of leverage during these negotiations. Your agent will be able to help you think logically about many important factors involved in your home construction, such as your overall budget and the cost of each upgrade that the builder will try to offer you. A realtor can spot a deal and may be able to use their professional experience to negotiate other extras, such as sale price discounts or other buyer incentives like free upgrades or rebates. Of course, this also depends on what kind of market you're in, but they can definitely do that. Real estate contract expertise. Some things you want to contract and some things you don't. You do want to contract on a new home. It's nice, right? You don't want to contract COVID. Aww. So if someone like an agent can help you with a contract that is amazingly helpful, work with them. But if someone tells you they can help you contract COVID, that's a hard pass. While many home sales can be completed with simple boilerplate, new construction often isn't a standard boilerplate contract. As such, they are often found to be highly favorable to the builder, and even though a realtor may not be able to change clauses in that specific contract, they can help locate an attorney or a title company which can help guide the buyers through those contract changes. Initially, your realtor will go through the contract with a fine tooth comb and will advise you on any clauses of contractual issues that they feel need to be addressed for you to understand. They will also know when the best time is to bring in legal help since real estate attorneys can be expensive and their time must be managed wisely. A realtor can help the buyer deal with or manage many potentially unfavorable contract terms. Escalation Clause Negotiations If you've ever bought a home before, you may have experienced a price renegotiation that was triggered by an inspection or an appraisal. A similar situation can occur when a builder escalation clause is triggered, which can greatly increase the final sale price of the home. You need someone on your side who can catch these types of hidden costs. Wow. wow! Generally, escalation clauses are in place to protect the builder from things like skyrocketing material costs so that if the prices of materials suddenly spike, the builder isn't stuck paying out of pocket for them or even losing money on the actual home build. With an escalation clause in place, a portion of the cost of those materials, or in some cases the entire coverage, is passed on to the buyer. Realtors that are experienced in helping buyers with new construction will understand just how severe these clauses can impact the buyer. Recent spikes in the cost of lumber, for example, can cause the price of a new home to increase by more than $20,000. These same rising material costs can affect anything that goes into the construction of your home, such as copper plumbing, steel, granite, marble, and even paint. They can help turn what could be an escalation into something more like this. Escalators are their playground. Not only can an experienced agent help the buyer to recognize and understand these potential consequences of these escalation clauses, but in some cases, they can help them renegotiate or even eliminate them entirely, again, depending on the kind of market you're in. In some cases, they can include a clause to automatically nullify the contract if the particular threshold of pricing increases is crossed. Ugh, annoying. Material guarantees. It's not incredibly common, but in some cases, builders will use substandard materials or materials other than what was specified in the contract, resulting in performance or appearance that may be undesirable for the buyer. If the buyer signs a contract with the builder that outlines material or craftsmanship requirements, a realtor can be a crucial resource in ensuring that those guidelines are followed. In the event they aren't, you will have more avenues for recourse when working with an experienced agent in a brokerage. Buying a home can feel like a long distance race and tackling construction onto that can feel like a marathon. So the last thing you want to do is finally crossing the finish line and then like... Builder warranty negotiations. 
If you mistakenly sign a contract that contains a clause wavering your right to legal recourse, you are giving away your right to pursue the builder legally for any disputes over labor or materials. Generally, you're not going to have to worry about suing your builder, but in the highly unlikely event that something goes awry during your build process, you will certainly want that option and a realtor can help protect your right on legal recourses. That's where a good agent can also be your greatest legal avocado. Shout out to Senora Moreno. Realtors keep buyers realistic during design. One of the biggest traps that new home buyers fall into is the allure of getting to handpick so many components of their home. This often leads people to select options that while generally small and reasonable upgrades are often heavily marked up by the builder. Some of the most notorious upgrades that don't increase your home's value but drastically increase your builder's profit are below. Here are some of the most notorious upgrades that don't increase your home's value but drastically increase your builder's profit. Lighting. Lighting upgrades, they're simple and cheap for most homeowners and you generally won't need an electrician to do them for you, saving you labor costs. Remember, it's lighting. Fight, 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 fight. Not <laughs> rocket science. Trim and crown molding. Crown molding and elaborate trim are upgrades that often have a significant cost attached to them. This is just another option that doesn't add much resale value, but it has massive profit margins for the builder. It's not an actual crown. And anything that has the word mold in it is not really that impressive. Smart home integration potential. Having smart home integration is one of the most popular upgrades, but while your builder can install many of the features for you, you can actually do it yourself for much cheaper. If the home is so smart, it'll know how to save like this. Right, Siri? Yes, Mark. You could have done a better job though. Siri. Just be sure that your home has cabling infrastructure that can support future integration and get the smart accessories yourself later. Super simple. Cabinet hardware. Many times the builder will have options for upgrading the pulls and hinges on drawers and cabinets in the kitchen and in the bathroom. These options will often be somewhat limited as well as costly. Most hardware stores have wide selections of cabinet and drawer hardware that are incredibly inexpensive and can be installed with just a few minutes with basic household tools. Carpeting upgrades. Flooring isn't the most overpriced upgrade from a builder, but you'll almost definitely pay more than you should. Rather than upgrade the carpeting, consider upgrading only the carpet pad. This will not only help your regular carpet last longer and stand up to wear better, but it will feel more luxurious and comfortable. Save the carpeting costs for Aladdin. A realtor can make a resale easier. Most people don't build a home with the intent of just selling it right away, but they should. Since most people who buy a new construction won't be living in that home for the rest of their lives, they're gonna resell it. Why many buyers see buying a new construction as a chance to make their home truly theirs by incorporating bold design choices or eccentric taste into the construction, this can make resale way more challenging if the first owner ever decides to move, which they always do. The realtor can help you be real about what other buyers will like too. I'm not trying to insult your taste, I promise you, but just remember everyone has different tastes. For example, this house was someone's masterpiece. Took time and care. So let a realtor give you their time-tested advice. Unless the Wicked Witch of the West shows up for a cash purchase. Realtors can generally help in this respect by offering consultation and advice on which design decisions are best left for those classic looks. For example, coaching the buyer on opting for a more traditional kitchen sink backsplash over a far more bold tiling option. Another example would be the current trend of working remotely, which makes homes with an office much hotter commodities while planning for the future could mean opting for more closet space instead so that a future sale doesn't hinge on the buyer needing an additional room over additional storage space. Get a room. Make it an office. Realtors provide vital communication help. Having a home built can not only take quite a long time, but it can also result in the need for constant communication and trying to keep up with that by yourself can be pretty much be a full-time job. Working with a realtor means that when it comes to communicating with the builder about questions or issues, you will generally only need to speak with your agent and they will communicate to the builder. Communication can be really hard, especially dealing with builders when you're not used to it. A good agent can help you avoid needless miscommunications. Oh, Peter, I love you. Yeah, about a quarter past five. In most cases, your realtor will be your single point of contact for anything you need during the entire construction of your brand new home. Experienced real estate agents 
can also give you insight into the process, particularly if they've worked with those particular builders in the past, which can give anxious customers much needed peace of mind. This is very crucial to remember since the builder and the builder's agent will likely not see it as their duty to keep you informed of the progress of the home. A realtor can be indispensable during new construction. It's possible to buy a new construction without an agent as people do it all the time to varying degrees of success. However, there are countless ways that a buyer could make costly mistakes. It's also possible to not get frustrated after being on hold with customer service for two hours. But I've never tried that. Remember, the amount you save on low value upgrades alone can often cover their commission. Your realtor will be your advocate, your expert negotiator, and your primary contact and source of all the information. They are the best option for arranging the smooth and satisfactory construction of your brand new home. I had a ton of fun making this video. I hope you guys learned a lot. Now, if you want to learn even more from the Home Squad, click on this video. I'll see you over there. Click, click it right now.